Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today's video is going to be another one of my declutter videos. I do have a whole declutter playlist on my channel. If you guys want to check it out, I will make sure to link it in the description box below. But I love decluttering my makeup collection. I feel like it's really important if you're constantly buying or trying new makeup to go through and also get rid of products that no longer work for you, things that have just been neglected in your collection, or also products that have expired because makeup does expire. So that is what I'm doing today. A lot of you have been asking me to film a my face primer declutter so I thought I would go ahead and film it for you today so I do have face primers but I also have like priming sprays and setting sprays I thought I would do it all in one video and I do have quite a few of them because face primers are one of my favorite products so I know that I need to go ahead and get rid of a few of them I use a lot of them but there are also a few of them that I don't use or just like products that really aren't suited toward my skin type so I thought I would go ahead and pass them along to family and friends so let's jump into it really quickly I do want to mention I do only purchase cruelty free products but I have have some products in my collection that are not cruelty free so I will declutter some of them but I will hang on to some of them just because I already spent the money so I'm just trying to use them up but I won't repurchase them once I do run out so the first thing I want to talk about is the Smashbox photo finish primer water it is one of my favorite primers I think it's really great for dry skin or oily skin but it just helps to add a little bit of extra hydration before you do the rest of your makeup you can use it on its own in place of another face primer but I actually like to use it before I put on a face primer just to kind of give my whole face a nice radiant look it doesn't do anything too crazy and it's not overly hydrating but it really preps the skin for the rest of your makeup so this next product is from philosophy it is the renewed hope in a jar micro renewal hydrating mist this one is extremely hydrating so if you have dry skin this one is going to be ideal for you it's a little bit too moisturizing for my skin because it's such a wet spray it doesn't really dry down very quickly it leaves your skin feeling super moisturized which is great if you have dry skin I personally have oily skin so I feel like it's a little a little bit too much for my skin but I love the entire philosophy like hope in a jar line renewed hope in a jar but more so during the winter time but because I don't really reach for this unless it is like super cold outside and the air is really dry I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter it and pass it along to somebody else who would like it more than I do then I have the Mac cosmetics fix plus I love this product Mac is not cruelty free and I did purchase it before I decided to go cruelty free so I wouldn't repurchase this product when I run out of it but I am going to hang on to it because I really like it I personally I like to use this after I do my entire face of makeup and then I'll spray it and it just kind of makes your skin look like skin again especially if you use a lot of powder if you have really oily skin like I do I have a tendency to apply a ton of powder to give myself a really mattified appearance so when I apply this afterwards it just kind of melts everything together and it locks your makeup into place I have two makeup sprays from elf cosmetics the first one is the makeup mist and set and the second one is the matte magic mist and set the one on the left is the original and they came out with the matte version a little bit later. I don't really find a huge difference between the two, I just kind of use them interchangeably and I don't usually use, use them to set my entire face, I usually use them to like wet a makeup brush before I go in with a shimmery shadow. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter both of these. I just have other products that I reach for over them and I don't really need to keep all of these setting sprays in my collection. I don't think they're a bad option and if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to any of the ones that I previously Previously mentioned they might be a great idea for you but since I'm already keeping a few other ones I think I'm going to go ahead and pass these two along so I am going to hang on to both of these products from Scandinavia I have the makeup primer spray and the makeup finishing spray both of them are the oil control version and they work so well for oily skin I usually reach for the makeup primer spray a little bit more than the finishing spray just because it does such a good job at kind of starting your skin off with a hydrated but matte base so it does a good job at making sure that your oil is not going to come through too quickly throughout the day but the finishing Finishing spray does a really good job as well so I am going to hang on to both of these I love the sprayer it comes out in a nice even mist so if you're picky about your sprayers you might really like these I'm also going to hang on to the Catrice Cosmetics Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. I think that this one is another great option for kind of spraying all over your face before you apply makeup. It's going to give your skin definitely a boost of hydration. It reminds me a lot of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. It just takes a little bit longer to dry. So don't use it in the morning if you're in a hurry, but if you want a nice hydrated appearance before you start your makeup, it's going to be a great option. It's affordable, it's available at Ulta, and it's like a drugstore price. So I definitely recommend it. Okay, I just recently got the Too Faced Hangover 
RX Replenishing Face Primer. This is actually one of the first silicone free primers that I tried or at least that I like actively knew that it was a silicone free primer because I really like primers that have that silicone feel to them. This one is more of a hydrating primer but it makes your skin feel so nice. Like if you have a tired skin day, if you guys know what I'm talking about, this is going to be an ideal primer for those days and I have oily skin but I do still really like this primer. It feels really gentle on the skin. It's really refreshing. I like it a lot. So I am going to hang on to this one. Next I have the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer. I really like this primer a lot. Again, Maybelline is not cruelty free, so I definitely won't be repurchasing from Maybelline until they decide to go cruelty free, but I like this primer. I feel like it does do a good job at kind of smoothing or blurring imperfections, fine lines, large obvious pores. It's actually one of my favorites from the drugstore. It is pretty lightweight. It does not feel greasy on the skin at all, but it still kind of has a slightly like smooth feeling to it, if that makes sense. I think I am going to hang on to this one and try to use it up before I declutter it. I, I just really like it. It's one of my favorite affordable options and it does a good job for my skin. So I am going to hang on to this one as well. I'm actually going to be decluttering the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This one is the Radiance Primer, and I really liked this for a long time. It has been forever since I've used it, and I've had it for way too long. At this point, it's been a few years, so it's definitely time to go ahead and declutter this one. I think if you have dry skin, you're going to like it if you like a little bit of radiance, but at the same time, I also feel like there are better options out there. I don't think it's a bad primer. I just don't think it is like the best face primer that I've personally tried. Then I have the Cover FX SPF 30 protection primer and I was trying to finish this one up this year. I used up most of it but I've had it for a really long time and I feel like it started to change scent so I think it actually is declutter or what am I saying? I think it's actually expired. I do not like to use products like beyond their expiration date. Sometimes I'll keep them a little bit longer than you know like the typical expiration guidelines but once they change in like scent or texture or you know any kind of like visible change I feel like it's definitely time to declutter it because you don't want to put that on your skin. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. I did use up most of it, which I am happy about, but it's just time to go ahead and get rid of it because I've had it for such a long time as well. Okay, so I have three different Smashbox primers. I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which I am going to hang on to. This is one of my all-time favorite primers. I feel like it's ideal for a lot of different skin types. Again, it does a good job at like blurring imperfections, fine lines, filling in pores. It definitely has a silicone feel to it, so if that is not the type of primer you like, I would recommend staying away from it, but I really like that because it glides over like dry areas, um, breakouts, and helps your foundation to go on really beautifully. So I am a fan of the original formula. I am going to keep this one. I recently tried the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. This one is an oil-free primer, so is the other one, but this one is really great if you have oily skin. It's a little bit more of a dry primer, so it's really going to mattify the skin. And while the other one does a good job at kind of blurring imperfections, this one really does minimize the appearance of pores. It's similar to the Benefit Professional in that I feel like it fills in pores. So if you struggle with really large obvious pores, this is going to be the one for you. And then I just recently tried the Photo Finish Radiance Primer. This one has hyaluronic acid in it. I think that this one is actually ideal if you have dry skin. I think that, you know, if you want like a glowy appearance, this is going to be a great option to kick off your makeup routine. It really illuminates the skin and I think it is great for summertime in my opinion because it gives your skin a really bronzed, just airbrushed look, but it still gives you that really glowy appearance. So I do like it. As someone with oily skin, I don't usually go for a glowy appearance, but every once in a while I like to switch it up. So I am going to hang on to this one and then declutter a few of the other glowy primers that I have in my collection. So also from Smashbox, I do have the Photo Finish Primer Oil. I have this large size, which I have not even opened. It is a full size. And then I have like three mini sample sizes. I'm going to hang on to one of the mini sample sizes, declutter two of them, and the full size, just because I, I like this primer. I think it is a good option, but I don't think it's geared toward my skin type. A lot of people with oily skin do like it. They say that it helps to control their oily skin, and a lot of people with dry skin like it. I feel like it's a little bit too hydrating for me. I just don't reach for it very often unless I have like a super full coverage foundation that's really drying and it's the winter time and I need a little extra moisture but I feel like that rarely happens so I do want to keep like one of the small sizes just in case but I feel like a lot 
of other people could enjoy this more than I do. So I'm going to go ahead and pass the other three along to somebody else so they can enjoy them. Then I have the Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer. This one is the Luminous Light Primer, and I ended up decluttering the other two a while ago, not because I didn't like the primers. I did like them. I felt like they were good primers, but they didn't interact well with my either my foundation or my moisturizer. I switch up my moisturizer and my foundation all the time, and no matter which ones I tried, these Hourglass Primers just did not interact well. So this one interacts okay, but I just don't reach for it very often. It's a little bit heavy on the skin. I feel like it clogs my pores a little bit, and it just doesn't really do anything significant. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. I do have the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. I got this sample in a subscription box. I do have like some smaller sizes, but I'm counting them in this declutter just because I do have them. I use some of them. I don't use some of them. This is one that I do not use. I don't have anything against it. It's just really similar to the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer in my opinion. So I usually reach for that one instead of this one because this one is a little bit heavier on the skin. I can never remember the exact name of this one off the top of my head. I feel like they switched it. So I'll put it on the screen for you, but I love this one. It's just a a good all-around primer. It's not extra smoothing and it's also not extra mattifying. It's just like a good go-to everyday primer that works really well with a lot of different foundations. I just really like this one and I like it a lot better than their other primers, which I used to love. So I am going to hang on to this one and then let me go through their other primers. So the one that I'm going to hang on to is the Poreless Face Primer. This one is almost identical to the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer in my opinion. It's very similar. I feel like it's a little bit softer, maybe like slightly more smoothing, but that could be good for you just depending on what you're looking for. It's a great option from the drugstore. It's very affordable. I feel like it works for a lot of different skin types and they do have different variations of this primer. So check out the website if it sounds like something you're interested in. I am going to keep this one. And then I'm going to declutter the e.l.f. SPF 20 Sunscreen Face Primer. I think it is the same face primer. The only thing is that this one has SPF 20. So I usually use a different SPF like every single day. So I figured this one is pretty much brand new. I'll go ahead and pass this one along to somebody else. And then I'm also going to declutter the Blemish Control Face Primer. This one has salicylic acid in it, 2%. And if that is something that helps to fight your specific breakouts, this might be a great option for you. It doesn't feel uncomfortable on the skin. It doesn't irritate my skin at all because some products that have salicylic acid, acid in them can do that. This one feels really great. It comes in a green package, so I thought it might have like green color correcting properties to it, but it comes out pretty much clear or white. So it doesn't come out green, so it won't really help to color correct any redness. That would be really nice. But I just feel like I have other skincare products that I use specifically to fight breakouts and acne and things like that. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this one as well and give it to somebody else who could get, who could get more use out of it than I do. I just recently got the Catrice Prime and Fine Beautifying Primer. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this primer just because it kind of felt like it was geared towards someone with normal to dry skin and like I said I have oily skin but I do really like it. It gives your skin a really soft illuminated effect. Like it's not anything too crazy or intense but it still helps your foundation to go on really beautifully and it helps you to look slightly glowy without looking too dewy or too oily. It is new to my collection and I like it so I definitely think I'm going to hang on to it for a while. I think I have other primers in my collection that do something similar but I'm still kind of playing around with it and I'm really enjoying it so far. The Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer is my favorite foundation primer ever. It is so lightweight and it's so unique. It's hard to even explain. It gives your skin a really soft finish, but it is like the most lightweight product I've ever put on my face. But at the same time, it kind of holds my foundation into place all day long and it prevents my skin from getting too oily throughout the day. It's really hard to explain. Other than that, I've never tried anything like it and it is so good. If I had to get rid of all of my primers and only hang on to one, this is the one that I would get. So I definitely recommend trying it. And then I have the Becca Cosmetics First Light Priming Filter. This one is kind of similar to the Too Faced Hangover RX in that it makes your skin feel really refreshed and awake. So if you have really tired skin, really dull skin, this one is going to be a great option too. It gives your skin a very luminous finish. There is another primer from Becca that I have, which I'll talk about in a second, that's really intense. But if you want something on the more subtle side, this is going to be the one for you. I definitely reach for this one more so in the winter or fall time. It's a little bit too, I guess, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Hydrating for the summertime for me, but it is a really good option during the colder months. So I am going to hang on to this one as well. I do have a sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, but because I kept the full size, I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along to somebody else. This is the one that I was talking about before. It is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I got this one in a subscription box and it's a really beautiful product. It looks so pretty if you're looking for like a luminous, radiant glow, but it's a little bit too much for my skin just because my oily skin kind of does that on its own and not in a super good way. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one, pass it along to somebody else. It's really beautiful. It's a great primer if that's what you're looking for, but if you have oily skin and you're not really a fan of that, I would recommend skipping it. Then I have the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. This one's actually a moisturizer. It's not technically a primer, but it's kind of like one of those products you can use interchangeably. I feel like in my Play by Sephora box, I get a lot of products that are like a moisturizer and primer all in one, so that's kind of why I considered it a primer. I like this product. It's really beautiful, but again, it's just a little bit too glowy for me. I get a lot of glowy products in subscription boxes, which are so pretty, but they're just a little bit too much for my skin type, so I'm going to declutter this one. And then I also got this product in a subscription box as well. It is a serum or primer. You can use it interchangeably, it says on the back. And again, it's a really good product, but I just have other things that are similar that I like better. So I really haven't used any of these other than maybe like once or twice. So I thought I would go ahead, pass them along to one of my sisters or my mom and see if they will like them more than I did. Okay guys, two primers left. The first one is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I love this product so much. I feel like it has a lot of hype surrounding it. And for me, the hype is completely worth it. It's a really cool product. It totally smooths over your fine lines, your imperfections. It makes my foundation go on so beautifully and it is so lightweight and mattifying on the skin that I feel like it is ideal for oily skin, especially during the summertime. I'm going to use it in an upcoming video along with some of my other face products for oily skin. So I've discovered like a lot of essentials this year that I feel like are just really great for oily skin and this is one of them. So I will definitely keep this one. I would absolutely repurchase it when it runs out, although I feel like it lasts a really long time. And then I was actually going to keep this next primer, but I think I will declutter. It's from Mirabella. It is such a good primer. I got it in a subscription box a long time ago. I used it up and then I repurchased it because it was that good. So I feel like that's when you know a primer is really good or a product in general if you repurchase it after getting it in like a subscription box. So I like it because it's very similar to the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, but it's a little bit more hydrating. It's more of a wet primer. So I feel like it goes on a little bit easier. I think it's great for dry skin for oily skin and I would keep it, but honestly, I just have a lot of other primers in my collection that I don't feel like I need it. I like it enough to keep it, but I'm just trying to be a little bit more selective, so I think I will go ahead and pass this along to somebody else since it is brand new and I haven't used it. Okay guys, that is the end of my video. So these are all of the primers that made it through my declutter. I'm keeping all of these and I will continue to use them. And then these are all of the primers that I'm actually going to declutter. So I feel like I did a pretty good job. I'm surprised because face primers are one of those categories that I love. I have a hard time parting with them, but I feel like I've been pretty cutthroat with my declutters this year, which I am happy about. I just have so much makeup coming in at any given point that I feel like I really do not need to keep products that don't work for me and things that I don't use because somebody else could benefit from them more than I do, and makeup does expire, so just keep that in mind when you're decluttering your collection as well. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.